Hi everyone, it's Linda from Linda Z's in Arlington Heights and my daughter Debbie. Hello. We have a really, really, really exciting thing for you to talk about and hear about today. And one of the things that um, we normally start out or we try to is a quilt. But today, instead of a quilt, what do we have, Debbie? We have an announcement. We have an announcement. Um, we have Can a... Can I bring the... Um, can I bring it in? The, the one over there? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Do you want to go um, get it? This go is ahead. something that, because we can't go to different places right now or, you know, different family events and everything... But what you can do is you can make a pie like Debbie and the pie carrier oh, and yes, you drop can. it at their front doorstep. But not only that, <laughs> you can actually make one of these yourself at the Kimberbell A Day at the Fair event that we're going to have on May 29th. Here, let me zoom in on that. So this is an embroidered... I only have pies for you. Oh, it is absolutely darling. So it? and it's yeah, we get so, a big one or a small one or you, you can, can pick any fit size. any size pie and size there for sure. Absolutely. And you would can, this be a treat for somebody? Seriously, if you you know put it on the door hang, uh, handle, ring the doorbell, or put it on the porch. Just put, put it on the front porch. The porch. Exactly <laughs> right, and leave it to and, somebody's uh, house. Yeah, leave of course or. Talk to them from six feet away. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Oh, but gosh, we've forgotten just... how to socialize. It's crazy. We need to learn again how yeah. to do this. But this is a wonderful So that's one then... project. And then we have two more projects in the day at the fair. <laughs> we have, okay, so the first, oh, I love you can show, this. okay, this is a towel. Oh, oh it's so sweet. And, oh. and it's, so everything you need comes in the kit. So you, Little so you get a kit when you sign up for this uh, and you get Little everything buttons. that you need to make this. Like pickles. Um, we have you, you <laughs> your own thread though and your own stabilizer but uh but we definitely give you that that towel and all of the vinyl and the and uh, the, the ribbons the, and the everything. ribbons and the yeah. yeah and they they go together so well of course you could just give them the pie and give this to me well then you have one in your <laughs> hand too a third one <laughs> i love this one I'll, well we eat in the pie later mom don't oh, worry about that oh good yeah i bought some vanilla ice cream too to go with that now, blueberry I, pie everyone we yep. did really uh-huh <laughs> so this guy is a, an oven mitt and it's the medium size and when you sign up for the event you get three different sizes on a um <laughs> <laughs> on a uh, CD and then you can r make them again and so this guy yeah he's uh you know what I really fun to make you know what I love him for is I could go right into the microwave, pull my tea out, and my fingers won't get burnt on the, the tea cup. handle. Yay! <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, Very good. So it. yeah, this is absolutely so darling. keep your so, eyes open for so it is um, May 29th at 10 a.m. and they're gonna learn all these techniques. And, and it's ninety nine dollars to sign up, and you do get the kit, and we'd have you come and pick up your kit at the store. Okay. So they're going to sew along with you. That's right. And if you live too far away, we can ship the kit to you. But uh, that's only exceptionally, Kimberbell is allowing us to do this because we're in the, in the months of the, the coronavirus. So we're, yeah. we're allowing you to, to get it shipped to your home if you're going to participate with wow. us. This, this is, is a virtual event, everyone. So yeah. there will be... Never uh, had this. It's ever. really fun. It's going to be a fun experience. Yeah. I've heard other stores around the country have done it, and it's been uh, really fun for them. Yeah. So we hope you have fun doing that too. And, and we'll be watching to see if you really get your project done <laughs> right yeah so we'll, they, you'll want them by the um by their computer so they can hear you right or uh -huh. their phone and then you'll you'll be watching debbie because she's going to present this and then you'll have all the instructions and the kit and everything it'll be fun it'll be if fun you, if you take a cup of tea and take a little break I don't know. We might watch. <laughs> anyway, right. you're going to have fun with this. Uh -huh. It's really it going to be fun. It's kind of like a Zoom fun. experience, but yeah. uh, we have a different uh, so platform. they can't sign up until... Um, we get it online. Right. Yes. We're going to get it online, and you'll be able to sign up through our online process. Okay. Uh, so keep keep your eyes open, because it's okay. going to be up either tomorrow or one of these days. Yeah. It's going to be up soon. How many of you have attended one of our Kimberbell events before? Can I wave them? Yeah. <laughs> yes, hopefully. If you have yeah. not, you should try it now because yeah, it's going to be a really fun should. one. I, everybody without fail comes out of there loving it. Just That's loving right. it. It's they just do. a great uh, opportunity. So even if you're not an embroiderer and you want to start trying it, this would be a great It'll be very informative yeah. for those of you who are yeah. looking for technique and yeah. things like that. Very good. Okay, so okay. that's a great announcement. I'm thrilled about it. I, before I get into the little project I had for you today, I want to explain something. I've had a lot of people ask me about these Cantha or these vintage quilts. Look at this one. Should I come just, and zoom in? You can okay. zoom in. This is okay. just spectacular. 
I don't know if you can see the tiny, tiny, tiny little threads. This is all hand quilted. This is a uh, fabric, it's pieced fabric that um, some uh, wonderful artisan in India, Northwestern India, usually around Jodhpur, yeah, there's Bengali, there. there's a lot of places, but this one wow. is just spectacular too. It almost looks like Southwestern. But look at this hand, this is all hand done. Hand embroidered. Yeah, it's a little, her it's marking. It's like cross stitch. And then <gasps> I looked. There are crosses. Yeah, and Next. then look, I looked inside, and look what else I found. Oh, so another. this must be her um, signature. They are spectacular, Beautiful. guys. They they really are incredible. And, and Caroline, our our webmaster right now, along with Nick, mm -hmm. are they are putting these on the website. And once they're gone, they're gone. You'll never get them again. So they're okay. these two, and then this is just again. I don't know if they can get up close, but do you see this little rickrack here? That's all hand done. Every single piece. And look at there's a little bit of an opening there. If you get a patch, you get a special one. Mm -hmm. And you always want the patch because that's really where they are. So these are and so what I'm doing is I'm opening them up on the website so that you can actually see. Look at the inside. See both sides. I mean it's just yeah. you will never find anything like this. This one down here is a treasure. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a hard time letting these all go. <laughs> oh, look at the fringe. See what it is? Pretty. This is the hand stitching. Oh, now, if you get through. up there real close, oh, you will way. see that all these tiny little stitches, I don't even know how they would do this. And look at, these are the threads that they've used all the way through this entire quilt. And look at the back of this one. There's borders. And then you go to this side, and it's a soft, subtle, pink. almost a light pink and off-white. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, they're just... Really pretty. Really, really great. So anyway, I wanted you to be aware. But here's another thing. If you oh. have any vintage quilts, now again, you know, most people cut these up and put them into like really phenomenal garments because they are something else when they, and this is a big fashion rage over in Europe. I would always wash my vintage, and all of these have been washed with soak. If you don't have soak, it's just fabulous. I I turn it over, I open it up, I put it in my wash, and I just squirt two squirts in there for each quilt. And I put it on the delicate cycle, and then I put it into the dryer on the delicate cycle with a little bit of fabric softener. So every they're single very soft. one of oh, these... These have all been washed. Yeah, yep. and they're mm -hmm. very, very... Um, you just want to hold them. They're really, really sweet. Okay, so now mm -hmm. what I, I had a couple of comments, and I really appreciate them. And when I was on, doing a video recently on this beautiful Solaris that mm -hmm. is right now in special, I had somebody say to me, because I mentioned that I wanted to do the hummingbird, I did the hummingbird, and that I wanted to do a um, glitz. And, <laughs> and the comment was, what is glitz? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I'm going to show you. If you can get a little closer, this is, oh, this glitz. is glitz. These are Swarovski crystals. Some of them are turned over. This is my favorite tweezers when I'm using them because you see it's got a little, see how I picked that up? Mm -hmm. So easy. And then it's got the little point so I can move it along wherever I'm gonna do that. And um, this is your um, hot gun that I use with it. Mm -hmm. So you, And I would suggest that you go to, I don't know, one of the hardware places and get yourself one of these pieces. Ceramic of, tile or some yeah, sort of so, tile. Right, and the, you can just get, you know, maybe even have it in your garage somewhere. And it's just a hard Heat surface, resistance. yeah, that won't ever burn it. Because you can see on the, um, <laughs> the great part about this, I love this. Ooh, we added and some it's more, you the guys. Hibiscus. Ooh, <laughs> check it out. And I put the little glitz on. I haven't done the hummingbird yet. But you can see wow, that putting in. these in, and I've got a couple wow. different colors. Oh, they're very pretty. They're really fun, aren't they fun? I mean, very it's just. Nice. And if you look on the Solaris here, this is one of the designs oh, that was in there, sure. and I was able to take this when it first came up. It was real big for the the big hoop, and I didn't want it that big. I wanted it big, but not that. And so I took this one individually. And I made it a little little bit smaller, and then I added another one in, because you can just multiply here, uh -huh. multiply very easily. Mm -hmm. I put Duplicate. another one in. Whatever you call yeah. It. Yeah. And then I just, again, took right on the screen, the um, underlayment and everything was changed without software, and I was able to make it just a little bit smaller. And so then it fit into the next size. So it's still like a you 9 by 8. Looks like you rotated I a rotated little too. It Fun. quite a bit because mm -hmm. I wanted his beak. He's just about ready to get up there and get some of that honey. Oh. <laughs> okay. Great. So I hope so that helps fun. you. Um, Absolutely. I, I will um, 
I know I'm repeating for some of you, but I think repetition helps is really good. <laughs> yes, it is really good. The, when I did the hummingbird, that was a heat and stay fusible because this is a woven fabric. And of course, I always use water top soluble on the top. And this is the water soluble. I okay. almost always use sure. it. But on this one up here, even in though the it's corner. the same fabric, you see how it's by the armhole? Difficult to hoop. And it's very difficult. So and you have the shirt a, itself. another seam here. Right. The, even though I have this great hoop that's got the rubber on it and the new wow, hoops that's, right over that seam. that Baby Lock makes that's are great. just fabulous. Mm -hmm. So what I always do when I have that, I use the perfect stick. And so whether you use Floriani or Oasis D. It has the paper on it that you score. Right. You score it across. You take your tweezers. Your, your you peel your, off the paper mm. and underneath it's sticky. Put it right you on. You stick your shirt right on to that right. stickiness. And pull it up. And, and yep, you're ready to go. And you're so, ready to go. Again, I like to really go over those so people know. And isn't this cute? This is a, now this is a little much, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know. Butterflies like to follow this, hummingbirds I think, around. I think we might put this oh, little butterfly. Oh, why not? And this yeah, one because the front done. is, is boring compared to the back. So this was done with wet and gone. So there's a oh. lot of different techniques because yeah. it's very standalone thin, lace, right? Yeah. And it very is pretty. Uh, metallic, and it's just a fun little thing to do. Um, the last thing that I want to finish up, I do have. I got another scissor. You probably don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I am getting so organized, it's uh -huh. scary myself. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> and, is great. And what I have now is I have one of these scissor holders for my longer, bigger scissors. I even the the. The, my favorite, favorite one, which is the Wave, the Wave with the Duckbill mm -hmm. by Alex Anderson. But this yep. is my favorite color because it's, well, well I like the white. That's kind of a... Kind you of mean the white. stash and store? Yeah, I like the stash and store. Stash and store white. So I've got two new whites. Uh -huh. So now I have one by every serger, by all my machines. <laughs> I have my zircle with my clips. The, the I have this, um, magnetic uh, pin. Right. It's both, and, that's a clip and pin holder. And I have my... Wonderful Hugo tape that to rips. keep my thread. Mm -hmm. And the reason I put this here, this is your perfect stick that is fabulous because when I had this on, because this is going over a seam, and it wasn't a big seam, but it, you know, it's a little seam. So when I put the water soluble on here, all I did is I stuck the water soluble on with the tape. A perfect stick. And okay. then I mean, with a perfect uh, tape. The, the tape, perfection tape. And then I just tape, pull right, it so. off and spritz it uh -huh. with my spritzer. Take a towel. Um, take my wonderful Laura Star, which I cannot tell you how much fun I actually pressed today. I have she a pressed little... a lot and it ran out of water, you guys. <laughs> and when it ran out of water, she was just telling me when we started filming that it does a uh, Swiss um, yodeling sound <laughs> when it wants water. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like you, I need like, water. It is a Swiss machine. It's all so the funny. Way. And I went, what? what? <laughs> That's awesome. And it's really cute. So uh -huh. I hope we've given you a little break from all the whatever's going on. Yes, out there. let's go have pie, Mom. <laughs> okay, so okay, good, everyone. Bye. <laughs>